Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today we're going to be doing an experiment. At the beginning of the year I said I wanted to do a writing experiment every month. It's March, it's March 29th and I have yet to do a writing experiment so today is gonna be the day that we begin. I've discussed on this channel before that in middle school and high school I used to write a lot of poetry. Poetry was kind of my creative outlet at the time. My creative writing outlet because music. I used to write a lot of poetry and then at some point I just kind of got out of the habit of it. I also feel like that to write poetry that is good you have to be in the right mindset for it and I don't think I've been in that right mindset for a long time and really it's probably been a decade or more since I've actually sat down and wrote a poem for something other than like um, one of my niece's birthdays or a card for a baby shower or what have you. So today I'm going to look through my poetry book from high school and read you one of the more cringy of those just for fun and I'm also going to try writing a poem today. I planned on participating in live sprints on Brooke Passmore's channel tonight for the um, author tube write-in that she and Mandy Lynn and Natalia Lee do. So I'm going to be doing my poetry during the live sprints, which should make it even more interesting. We're going to give it a try and see what happens. So wish me luck. Y'all, poetry is hard. I wrote one earlier that I sent to Kate and it was like, reasons I haven't wrote poetry in over a decade. You ready? Red stain, stained in vain, veins upon my window pane. Pain, oh, such a drain. Drains pulling at my brain. Brains swelling in disdain. Disdain easy to obtain. Obtaining all the red stain. So at the moment, I'm looking through, um, I have a collection of really dramatic poems that I wrote in high school. Good lord, there's way more than I thought there was. Some of them are dated. I apparently had a lot of unrequited love in high school, but I kind of already knew that. There is one song in here as well. Um, I used to write songs as well, but they were way worse than the poems. So, um, I think I'll read this one. This one is, it had to have been written during my 10 Things I Hate About You phase, which I'm still in. It's been a long time, but I'm still all about 10 Things I Hate About You, so see how this goes. It's a, it's a long one. It's long. We're gonna be here in a minute. You are so blind to the way, the way she's treating you. You're going to soon find that she's just playing you. She might be beautiful and to you she might seem right, but will she be there for you at the end of the night? I hope not because you're 12 and that's excessive. I know that you think you love her, but there's no reason you should bother. That rhymes. She'll rip your heart into pieces she will rip, but you'll never see it coming unless you get a grip. Maybe I'm just jealous because she has your heart, but I can't stand to watch her tear you apart. The other day, a friend told you how I feel, how I'm jealous of the beautiful one, how my feelings are real. I've long wished for a part of your heart to treat it the way it should have been from the start. All I want is a chance to show you all the things wrong with this girl playing you for so long. But until with your heart she's done, I'll be jealous of the beautiful one. A uh, hi, that poem's called the beautiful one. This is one that started out as a poem um, and turned into a song, but then was reverted back into a poem. It's called Someone to Hold Her Hand. Again, unrequited love was a theme. She's left alone to cry at night and left alone when nothing's right. She wants someone to be there. She wants someone to care. Everyone thinks she's crazy and crazy's been where she's headed lately. All she needs, no one understands, all she needs is someone to hold her hand. This one I like because it's when I started to get really angsty, because the first two weren't angsty. This is called Once. Sleepless nights, dreams invaded, broken hearts, love awaited, a girl, lonely and sad. Here sits this girl, love gone bad. Still it's him that she dreams, him and the boy he used to be, wishing and wanting for anything. Or better still, everything. Hatred and anger rages within a girl whose love once had no end. I actually remember most of that one without having to look at it. So I apparently 
like that one a lot in the day. Side note, I don't think this one rhymes. Fully loaded would be the title. My pen is fully loaded and ready to aim. Whether you are on my side or theirs, I cannot clearly tell. If it's theirs that you choose, know that I am ready to aim this pen at your heart and do so mercilessly. If it is my side you choose, then together you and I will point this pen in the opposite direction and use my words upon them. The very last thing that is wrote in this poetry book, I kid you not, is love I have had, love has gone. Don't know what that was starting out to be, but fun times. Um, I think we're going to end the high school story saga of good lord by reading one called The Cover because I'm an author and that makes sense. The Cover. To judge this book by its cover would be a great mistake. For only those who open the book on this journey it will take. On the outside it looks as though it was made of toughness. That it cannot be broken yet it shines to show off its greatness. The inside however is a different matter. The pages are soft and yearn for a touch. For someone to understand its contents and know exactly how to hold it and such. Yeah. Both the cover and the pages are a part of me that I cannot lose. Yet I wish that more would open this book so that those for a voyage I could choose. There's actually some things in there that I could work with, but there's also some things in there like rhyming, toughness, and greatness that's questionable. I will type those out in a Google document and share it down below so that you can check those out because I'm sure you want to like be able to read it. Awesome. Back to today. I wrote one during one of the live sprints that says, mood, it's a thing. Feelings can be tangible. Legible? Ugh. Words. They're hard. Caterpillar. I don't know if that's better or worse than anything from when I was in high school. I'm not, not entirely sure. I'm writing another one right now. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I've only got like three lines. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. But it's kind of talking about like nature and how it creates music and how nature is a song in and of its own. But it's not ready enough to share yet. So like the red stain stained in vain vein is upon my window pane pain oh such a drain drains pulling at my brain brain swelling in disdain disdain easy to obtain obtaining all the red stain that's what i've got i've been here for two hours and that's what i've got has my poetry got any better is there a good reason why i stopped i'm not really sure i think i'm going to keep trying poetry maybe not during live sprints that's kind of a silly thing to do but i mean i needed to film this and there was live sprints going on tonight so it seemed like a good idea at the time mood it's a thing feelings can be tangible legible Ugh. words they're hard caterpillars i mean it's just so good like it's such a good poem wait a minute wait a m words are caterpillars because when you string simple words together and make beautiful sentences. They become butterflies. Guys, I think I just made this work. I think I just made this a thing. I think it works. I think that works. It's the symbolism. Man. Guys, I think I'm doing all right. I'm gonna leave off that and I'm, I'm going to continue um, trying poetry in the future. Uh, it's been a long, it's been a long time, obviously. I don't have like, Back then I had, you know, copious amounts of cute boys to inspire me, and now I have not that. So, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to find things to write about. Leave in the comments below just like weird random things that you think I should write poetry about. Like, I, I love to write weird poetry, like that's one of my favorite things. Um, I actually once wrote um, a poem about penguins and how they waddle. I had to write like, like it was for a, a class project and so I had to like write the real one but then also write the fun one because my penguin one didn't really work for the class so leave me ideas in the comment section below and maybe I'll film a follow-up video writing poetry about your suggestions because that sounds fun I don't, I don't know that is all I have for today I post reading writing and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends so until then I will see you guys next time bye